Hi, um, it's been a few months since the last time I did anything on my blog or my YouTube channel, and I thought that I would take this time since I've been using my Life is Crafted inserts for a few months now, uh, I would take this time to do a little review and see how they've been working for me. Um, this is, I have them in my Smithson binder. This is basically what I use all the time. I used to rotate a lot, but I like this one a lot, so <laughs> I haven't been rotating as much. I, uh, I have basically the same setup that I did before, but I took out the little pencil that was right here, and I put in a very thin Le Pen red pen, and I keep it in here, and then on the other side I keep a black one, and that's all I use in here, just those two colors. I just have some spare envelopes in case I ever need envelopes when I'm out and about. It's happened to me a couple of times, so I decided I'd keep them with me all the time. Um, I went to Staples and I got these little envelopes, they're just, just these little pockets. I have two of them and on one of them I keep stamps and in the other one I keep a, a cleaning cloth for my computer. Just I didn't know where else to put it so I stuck it in here. It kind of sticks out a little bit. But that's all I have in here. These are not Filofax, they're Day Runner and they're made out of this like it's plastic, but it, it's kind of velvety feeling. I don't know how to describe it uh, really well, but they're really, really soft. And I like them okay. They're kind of small. I don't know if you can see, but this, the they don't have like a zipper. They just have like a zip lock, and it it's way down here. So actually, the pocket looks like it's this big, but it's not. It's, it's, it's basically only this big. But that's fine. It's whatever. Um... So I've still got some sections in the front for the Immigration Law Society. That section has grown quite a bit. Um, I'm doing Big Brothers Big Sisters, so I've got a tab for my little sister. Uh, I never did my yard sale, so I still have a tab for my yard sale. I started to do the 365-30 lists. Haven't really gone. <laughs> I think I, I started August. I got to August 6th, and uh, so I did six days worth. <laughs> But then I have a little tab that's marking the actual goal planning pages and project planning pages. And um, I used the calendar for July and August, and now we're in September. So I took out um, the day at a time, and I just left in the month so that I could go back and like, oh, what date was that? I have it on here, so I always have it. And I have that for August, too. And so now we're in September, and I can show you... Uh, exactly how I'm using my inserts. So in red I am putting in my appointments for the day and I do every single appointment I have even if it you know I have class same schedule every week but I always put it in here um, just so that I don't you know forget because that happens to me. Today my classes were canceled or one of them was but I skipped my second one. So that actually helped me because if I'm keeping it in my head, I have class at whatever time on Wednesdays. Well, today I didn't. So it wasn't in my, in my schedule, so I know not to go because it's also happened to me that I accidentally show up for a canceled class. Um, you can see, like, every single class and work is always marked in there, and I draw a little line until it ends so that I know how long it's going to last, but I also put, like, when it ends. But sometimes I misread things. I don't know. It's... I do it both ways. Um, so I put in it's a planned dates, schedule things that I have in here in red. And then in black, I'll do, you know, I, I applied for this scholarship. And I had an assignment due at work. And I was cooking something. And, and then at the bottom, I do things that are not, or in, you know, back here I have dinner with my with a couple of my friends. That wasn't exactly at a particular time, so I wrote it in black also. Um, and then also some things, some things I just accidentally write in black. But that's how I've been doing it. And and I up here I I write in deadlines, reminders. Um, I write in. Let's see. Yeah. So here's another deadline. Five o'clock. I have to apply for this thing for this group that I'm in. Um, I use these little market dots, the not market dots, the Martha Stewart dewdrops 
um, with an erasable pen, one of the uh, friction pens, I wrote in the deadline. So I had something to turn in in a certain amount of days. So, you know, nine days ago, I put nine days and then I was erasing it eight days. And I was trans these little things, you can easily put pick them up and transfer them to a different page. And they don't actually lose their stickiness for a while. So I was moving it day day by day by day so that finally when, when my deadline came up, I wasn't forgetting. Um, the, the Life is Crafted inserts didn't come with a ruler, so I'm just using a Filofax ruler. And uh, this is my last year of law school, so I have a little, a little flag on here that, that is reminding me to, to do my bar fitness stuff because to take the bar you have to tell them everything about your life since you were born basically um this next month i've already started in started putting in things that i need uh everything that goes on these months of you is in black and then i'll start scheduling in you know then i'll start scheduling in in red things that i know that i need to do already like assignments that i already have but if if they're not for sure or I'm, you know, it's not set in stone, I, I will write it in black. Pretty much the things that I write in red are the things that I'm for sure have to do at this time and it's not going to get canceled, it's not going to get moved on me. So later when I'm scheduling, you know, if I have lunch with my friend, that I, it's in black and I can say, oh, I can schedule, I can move that around. So if I have something else that needs to take up that time, then I know. But if it's in red, then I'm like, oh, sorry, I don't have time during this time block because it's already taken up by something else. Otherwise, I will get over double booked, which happens to me. Or it used to happen to me all the time. Now it doesn't happen to me because I, I have these inserts. I have um, the day to view, the day on a page, all the way until December because as a student, um, I, I live my life in semesters so you know right now I'm I'm scheduling things all the way up until pretty much November my se my semester this year they changed it we don't go into December anymore Ex exams are in December but uh, we don't have class up and so I have all of December off basically um, after my exams are done but I have December here just in case, you know, something happens. Like my parents may be coming into town and I, I wrote in the day that their flight gets here. And then for January through June, I just have the month at a time, the month to view. Just, and all, all I've put in there are like when school starts back, um, a holiday that I know already is, is there. And that's basically all I've got in here. And then at the end, the same stuff that I've always had, um, like, you know, I've got the bar exam. It's in July. Uh, the notes pages. In the very, very back, I have my class schedule. I printed it out. And so I have my class schedule here, and I have my professor's office hours on a little sticky note opposite that. Then I've just got some stickers back here and a little pocket that I actually don't use. I should take that out. And I've got these sticky notes on a fly leaf so that I can just use sticky notes all the time. Uh, this little packet of sticky notes fell off, but I keep sticking it back on. It keeps falling off. I should rubber cement it or something. And that's basically, I have a second flyleaf here protecting the back page of flyleafs. And then um, I've got these little stickies that I'm actually not using. I'll take them out too because they're getting bent. And that's all I've got in here, but I'm using it every single day. I've got my previous months in another file effects that I'm using as a storage binder. Um, and here, I again, I've just got, I've got, you know, everything scheduled out. This is probably more, it looks a lot nicer. I guess I got, I stopped writing things out as neatly, but as you can see, like right here, um, I got front-ended. <laughs> Somebody backed into me and we, on the street, whatever. Uh, so I have the insurance claim number and all that other stuff. And, you know, I've got classes and things that I've got scheduled. Um, it's the same thing. I mean, I've just been doing this already for months now. Uh, and, I, you know, I've got my to-do lists and, and things that I've got in here. Like, I, I, this is when I went to go get my pick up my car after everything happened so you know that was set in stone on the other hand I had two 
a training that I had to go to, but I could choose either one of these two days. So I wrote it in black. And that's how I've been doing it. And it's really been working for me. I don't miss my appointments as much. <laughs> I don't double book myself as much. And uh, because these inserts are so pretty and, and you know, they've got cute quotes, um, like, for example, the one for September, there's no greater joy, no greater reward than to make a fundamental difference in someone's life. You know, so these are just little cute things that make you want to keep using them all the time. And so I do, and I use it all. I get compliments all the time from people about the Smithson, but also just my inserts and how cute they are and how organized I am. And I think that's, uh, I think that's cute. I think it's, uh, it's really working for me. I still recommend them as much as I always have. I still think that they're great and I, um, I would tell anybody to use them. So I think I'm going to buy them again when, when the next year comes up. Although I won't be living my life in semesters anymore because I'll be graduated. So I don't know if I'm going to buy them. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars in December on this. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have another, like buy a little cheapo journal in the meantime and then buy them again in January. We'll see. But anyway, so that's that's what I've been doing so far and that's what's been working for me. I, I really like them and I really recommend them. Um, so I, I hope that this has helped you to see how I've been using them a few months in and and how it's been going. I like having the the most important tasks separate from the today's tasks. And I know that lots of other s systems use that, but if it's just up to me, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to be that organized. So having it laid out for me already, it's just perfect. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.